Good day. Welcome to Partakers Friday Prayers on Friday the 2nd of December 2011. Come, let's pray. Father, as we commence, may our hearts and minds be right before you. May your everlasting mercy, grace and love be shown in hearing these petitions. Praise to God the Father sing. Praise to God the Son our King. Praise to God the Spirit be, now and through eternity. Amen. We now come to a time of confession of our sins. The Apostle John writes in 1 John 1 verse 8 to 10. If we claim we have no sin, we are only fooling ourselves and not living in the truth. But if we confess our sins to him, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all wickedness. If we claim we have not sinned, we are calling God a liar and showing that his word has no place in our hearts. Let's now have a short time of silence to reflect upon our lives and then we will say a general confession together. We say together, Heavenly Father, you have loved us with an everlasting love, but we have gone our own way and broken your laws. We are sorry for our sins and turn away from them. For the sake of your Son who died for us, forgive us, cleanse us, and change us. By your Holy Spirit, enable us to live for you and to please you more and more. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, Amen. I will now say a general confession and please respond with thanks be to God. God has promised in his word that when we confess our sins he forgives us and cleanses us from all unrighteousness. Thanks be to God. Now let's have a short time where you can offer your own praise and thanks to God for things that are on your own mind and heart. If for some reason words are failing you, simply pray, Lord God, I lift up thanks and praise to you alone. Hallelujah. Father, accept these praises as sweet-smelling perfume. Amen. Let's now pray for these people who are ill. Father, we lift these people before you. Claire, Dorothy, Kath, Joy, Christina, Margaret, Ron, Beryl, Carolyn, Kirsty, Kerry, Bob, and Patty. Give comfort to them and all those who are ill. Give wisdom to medical staff treating them and from your well springs of mercy grant a healing touch. We ask all these things, O gracious Father, in the name of your majestic Son Jesus Christ and in the power of the Holy Spirit who lives within us. Amen. Father, we also lift before you all those facing a uh, challenging situations such as confinement at home, geographical isolation, lack of employment, health issues and financial pressures. Hear the cries of our hearts, O oh Father, and give wisdom and courage to overcome and help respective governments to send aid and be compassionate. We lift these people to you, Father trusting that you will meet their needs in whatever situation is being faced, and we put ourselves in your hands to help meet those needs where we can. 
We now pray for church services around the world this weekend. Our Father God, we lift before you all those who are preaching, leading, serving and participating in church services around the world this weekend, both up front and in the congregation. We ask that the Holy Spirit would guide their minds and that the worship would be in spirit and in truth and that your word is faithfully preached. For those in countries where to meet other Christians is illegal or not condoned by the government, we ask that you continue to strengthen, guide, uplift and grow them. Let them know through your spirit, the spirit that lives within all believers, that we are praying for them. Amen. Father God, we now lift this troubled world to you. From your wellspring of mercy, Hear these petitions and cries. May justice and peace come to places where injustice, strife and conflict currently dominate. Where there is chaos, bring order. Where there is hatred, may love be sown. We pray that in areas of need following natural disasters, such as earthquakes and famines and uh, hurricanes, that aid will get through and infrastructure rebuilt. Lord, in your mercy, hear these prayers of your children. Amen. Now there will be a short time of prayer where you can give to God things that are on your own mind and heart. And if, for some reason, words are failing you, then pray this short prayer based on Psalm 40. O God, help and deliver me from this pit, for I am poor and needy. Let's continue praying. Father, we pray that your love will take over our lives. We also pray that we would follow you faithfully, live lives obedient to you, and give praise to you alone in all circumstances we face. Lord, in your mercy, hear these prayers of your children. Amen. Let's now pray together the prayer that Jesus taught his disciples. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we also have forgiven those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. Finally, we close with this prayer of great praise. O Father, may it be that your love takes over our lives, that we would follow you faithfully as your church. May we give to you alone praise in all circumstances we face together. We ask all these things, O Father, through the majestic name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, and in the power of the Holy Spirit, who lives inside us. Amen. Thanks for joining us on Partaker's Friday Prayers. See you again real soon.